Santo, Dingus. Mowing little guys down is so satisfying. I agree. Yes, Mr. Poland. No, I won't tell anyone. No, your secret is safe with me. Nobody, nobody can hear me right now. I'm muted. I know. I know. Okay. Starfield 2024. Got it. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Let me just unmute my set. y'all doing? <clears throat> Purge the chat! Ban everybody! No witnesses! Alright, uh, let's see. We're pretty much ready to go now. Oh, God. Bet okay, stun gun. This is all you, buddy. Gun, why are you stunning? Oh my god. Okay, we're fine. Why do you finish exploring the top layers? Because there is, uh, there's hard boundaries on the left and right. And there, get, there gets a point where it's quicker to go down and out a little than all the way over left and right as well. The rock gets a lot harder as you start going out further and further as you can see here. Now we're in like some kind of purple rock feeling. You make this? Maybe. Yeah, we might be able to. We can repair if we need to, but we don't necessarily need to repair quite yet. I missed one. Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah. 
Hmm. Put that. Kind of want to save for those, maybe? That might be a bit much. Bloop, 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 bloop. Is Diagonal busting a thing? Yeah. Hey, R. Spain, what's up, buddy? Play it safe. Let's just head back. Let's just head back. See, there's a gap in the solid wall on the RT that you just passed. We could probably just bust it out and then it's, you know, good to go, but yeah. Oh man with the 69. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh man with the 69 months and he says. Nice. Nice. Mm -mm. All right, I've tried to give Ars Pain a sub ten times now. Sorry, Ars. Love you, bud. Yeah, I, I, Twitch, Twitch is like holding me hostage, man, with all these freaking the, the length of time that it freaking takes for that to actually work. Very frustrating. Got, I gotta keep streaming, man. Can't be dealing with your bugs. You get to live a little bit longer, Ars. Wait, will it actually kill those? Dude, it might. Look at that. Awesome. This will not have. We have any of the green? We have one. Okay. This is not great. Really? 
play it safe, and get back. Hey, Karamaru. How are you today? Are there any conferences today? Yes, one at 1 p.m., the extended Xbox Bethesda conference. We're going to do that just to be safe. You know what the popping sound is? It's the freaking harvest sound from Stardew Valley. That's why it triggers so much dopamine in me. Okay, I was wondering what was going on there. It's the Stardew Valley harvest sound. All right. Every time I kill them, I'm like, oh, this feels good. Oh, I like this. I like this. That's one. It's the, it's the sound of victory. The sound of the third delayed gratification. Come on now. Get all this up. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, come on, mother. Quick look. Uh, I think we need to find like another big vein of the yellow stuff. Okay, we have nine. So 12 and we could do more drill speed or we could do more carry strength. What is this? Improved jetpack or carry strength four. So those are mutually exclusive. We could also get power three. I think we should probably save up for power three. Yeah. That's what we should do. We're gonna save up for power three. Oh, actually, we're pretty cool. Let's do this. Power three is a safe bet. Yeah. Let's do a little bit more here. Just need like one more vein of the yellow stuff. Well, maybe two, actually. Widen your shaft. I'll widen your shaft. All right, let's uh, go here. Ow. That. Get him. Wrecked us. Ooh. That was not good. Man, I tell you, it'd be nice to have that teleporter, huh?
widening my shaft just for you, chat. Giving you what you want. You're welcome. Teleporter. Okay. Yes. Yes. Hell yeah. Uh, upgrade. Um, we we'll probably have to go ahead and do this. Do that. There's really nothing. I don't, I, I think we're going to spend, yeah, we're going to wait on the rest. I want, I want that laser. I want that laser. Although now that I'm thinking about it, maybe we want the, the double laser. Because we're not, like, damage is a, is a thing, but I don't know, man. Double, double might be better. Oh, here's the teleporter thing. Look at this. Oh, you can now teleport from the portal back to the dome. Oh, I feel like we have to get that. Yeah, that, that's just awesome. Okay. Okay. Somebody said get a second stun laser. I don't think we can get a second stun laser. Why have I seen multiple people in chat say that? I don't, I don't think we can do that. God, look at this. How do I actually set it up? Do I just drop it? How do I use it? Oh! Don't, it doesn't bring resources. It's a bummer. It's still, I mean, it's still good, but... It's still good. Oh, upgraded to teleport resources. Okay. Okay, cool. Is that the bottom? No! I need three more. The portal will teleport resources more often. The portal will teleport resources from a larger area. Oh, it was a lock thing. The portal will slowly suck up resources and teleport them back to the dome. Uh, interesting. I didn't realize I only got one. Alright. If only Co would have read the upgrades before picking them up. <laughs> that dude.
Yeah, I still don't, I think, I think we're gonna do the, the biggest, biggest laser. I was thinking about double laser, but I, I don't know how that works, and biggest laser is the thing that I feel like I know how that works. Big laser go boom! I feel like I'm comfortable with that. That's a big old girthy laser chat. Oh, come on, man. I can't even get over that side. That's not. Uh, we can do... Here, go ahead and repair to full, because why not? We can. All right, let's go finish off this area down here. What game is this? Uh, this is Dome Keeper. If you're ever wondering what game I'm playing, you can see under the title as well. Of the stream. Not that anyone looks up there. Greed is so real. You're so real. Um, see how much this. Okay, that's we're at eight two two right now. We've gotten like everything we can get in terms of survivability. We can get a stronger dome. We can get more, here we go, we can get more dome light. That's good. Also, getting the resource thing, I think, would have been a lot better. Oh, another one. Okay, cool.
I have no idea what that thing is. a fun game <laughs> install a brewing tank producing a repelling liquid activate to release the repellent delaying the arrival of the next wave uses water okay. so wait do we unlock something new in the demo there's unlocks in the demo. Oh, look at that. But I think everything else is the same. Yeah. There's like a missile dome and some other kind of dome that will eventually be available. There's different, um, oh, this is like an escape maybe? Escape the planet? This game's gonna be cool. This game is gonna be cool. Yeah. That was a, that was a really fun demo. And a new difficulty. Yeah, what's the new difficulty? Out of curiosity. You asked for it. Well, it's your dome to lose. <laughs> yeah, if you enjoyed this demo, make sure to wishlist it on Steam. Uh, quick reminder before we switch to our next demo. Um, keep in mind, a lot of people don't know this, so I want to spread the good word. Keep in mind that wishlisting on Steam, a lot of people are just like, eh, whatever, I don't need another email. When Steam picks what demos are at the top of their next fest, what games go in their front page carousel, what games are gonna be shown to you when they come out, they look at the games that not only you've wishlisted, but everyone is wishlisted. When you wishlist a game, you are basically not only getting yourself an email later with updates, but you are telling Steam, I like this developer. So it is very important and very good to the devs if you wishlist games you like on Steam. It, you know, the algorithm TM? Well, you are directly telling the algorithm that this game should be higher in it when you do that. So if you enjoy any game on Steam, especially from indie devs, make sure you wishlist it because it's a very, it's a little thing that when it adds up is a very big deal. Um, so yeah. Bip and Bit says, dev here. Thank you so much for playing and for advocating the wishlists. This means so much to us as a small dev. Amazing. And thank you. Well, you've got a very cool game, buddy. If you're actually the dev, I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> 
thank you uh thank you for being here and yeah it's 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 very cool it's very cool by the way sacriel uh, a friend of the channel and another great streamer had such an amazing suggestion that i'm gonna go ahead and, and say again on steam to hopefully give it some some merit here whenever a game comes out twitch makes box art for it they make you know they make a category for it they do all sorts of stuff whenever a game comes out even dome keeper has a thing what twitch needs to start doing is any time they add a game to its game directory they need to if the dev chooses to or if they can figure it out they need to figure out the official twitch handles of those games and any devs get an official dev badge next to their icon if they if they speak in chat in that category how amazing would that be so it's like if so you, so somebody talks that's an actual approved dev and they have a unique badge next to their name that says this is a dev for this game um like that's one of those things when when i read sacral with the idea i was like like this should have been in since day one um that would be so awesome so anyway i i hope they implement something like that it would be super cool and um that'd be amazing that'd be amazing anyway Go for Twitch board? No, no, no. This was Sacral's idea for the record. <laughs> this was 100% Sacral's idea. I, I'm just parroting it because I'd love to get it some steam and I think it'd be a fantastic idea. Uh, okay, so next demo. This That was Dome Keeper. That was awesome.